You should do it, yeah. Get married? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm down. <laughs> I'll, I'll buy you bread. I just need you'll buy me. Yeah, that way bride? it's it's just so much easier. Make sure it's just Korean or Japanese. Wow. <laughs> they might be expensive. Uh, so you like JDM women? <laughs> Man, you're all in on this JDM thing, aren't you? Important. <laughs> Important. important. <laughs> oh, you're dying. Hey, let me know when you compose yourself so we can film a video. <laughs> oh, yeah, Customs is holding my bride. Maybe we should just offer it here. She's got feathers. She's stuck in Customs. Oh, Fish and Wildlife has her. She might have feathers. Oh, That's brother. brilliant. Yeah. Okay, I'm good, dude. If you are a beautiful Japanese girl who is interested in a camera guy hit me up well not me but drop a comment below and i'll get you in contact this isn't going well yeah let me know how much <laughs> i think i covered all the bases are I you gonna fix this light or <clears throat> we're just gonna be in disco all day if you guys are like me the first warm day you get this time of the year you're just jonesing because i i know spring is coming right and nothing to me symbolizes spring like bluegills. Something about this time of the year when it gets warm, you know, we've suffered through the cold of the winter. The shallows have just been like, just void of life for so many months. And all of a sudden we're getting these warm days, the water's, you know, creeping up in temp and the bass are starting to move up and these little dudes are moving up too. So. Today, what I thought we would do is, you know, obviously every brand makes a, you know, quote unquote bluegill bait, right? And they've taken a crankbait or whatever, and they just color it like a bluegill. But today I thought it'd be cool to break down my five favorite legit bluegill imitations, whether it's, you know, soft or hard. These are baits that actually look and perform like a bluegill underwater. They're some of my favorite baits to throw this time of the year. So if you guys are ready, let's go. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just want to elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. All right, welcome back, my friends. I am Ben Kohler with Hookup Tackle, AKA the Tackle Otaku on Instagram, being filmed by Jeffrey the King. We are the Hookup Tackle USA. Today, we are talking about my five favorite bluegill imitation baits. Now, we started the program off by talking about, you know, spring, right? And obviously, bluegills are something that I think most anglers kind of associate with spring. Again, getting back to the idea that it's been, you know, so long since we've seen life and fish in the shallows that all of a sudden, all these bluegills are up, they're spawning, they're feeding, bass are feeding on them. So it just kind of correlates in our minds that, you know, bluegills are raiding the nest of the bass when they're spawning, they're easy food, right? So we all kind of go towards bluegill profile baits this time of the year. Now, trophy bass hunters, tournament anglers that focus on catching, you know, the biggest fish they can, bluegill imitations are something they throw all the time. And really bluegill is probably one of the most important baits that are in most of our lakes because they're just a great protein source for growing a big fish. So if you guys are after trying to catch the biggest bass in your waters, you can do what Jeff does unsuccessfully and throw, you know, what is it that you throw, Jeff? I throw a wide variety of different trout and shad profile swim baits. Yeah, so scratch that and go with bluegill profiles, right? So. We're going to dive in today, and no offense, Jeff. Absolutely you're, not. You're great. I'm terrible. Yeah, you're going to catch something someday. <laughs> yeah, in my dreams. Okay. So we're going to break down five baits that I love to throw. Uh, a lot of guys around here love to throw them as well. So if you guys are fishing anywhere where bluegill 
is the forage of choice. I think you guys are really gonna like these. And we'll show them to you in the tank too so you can understand the actions, how we work them, so on and so forth, okay? All right, so let's dive in. Usually my starting point, anytime I'm, you know, targeting fish that are eating big prey is I like to start with a hard bait that I can fish relatively quick. So this is usually the starting point for me when I know the fish are feeding on bluegills and that would be a depth bull shooter. Now, the bull shooter comes in a 160 millimeter long size. This is a, a 3.7 ounce, so it's almost a four ounce glide bait. It moves amazingly well under the water. It has big, wide glides, very easy. It can glide with just a turn of the handle. It's been on the market for a long time. It's a great one when you're looking to feed the fish something that's really large, but that's too big of a bait a lot of times for a lot of anglers, especially if you're fishing, you know, ponds or you're fishing bass that are really keyed in and specifically chewing bluegills. You know, this could be a pretty big offering. So what I usually do this time of the year is I go down to the tiny bull shooter. Now the tiny bull shooter is a hundred millimeters long. It's one ounce. Depths has actually been teasing us with this bait for you know, many years and it hit the market last year. We just got a pretty big stock back in on this guy. But if you look at this, this is just a very natural profile bluegill. It looks just like a bluegill. It's got that kind of tall, thin side going to it, right? It's got the right profile. It's got the right coloration. And this is just a very easy bait. It's a slow sink. So you can throw it out there and then literally just with the turn of the handle, you can just give it little cranks. And this guy is just going to bounce back and forth side to side and give that kind of, you know, jerk bait slash glide bait motion. Would you call this a glide bait, Jeff? Uh, yeah, it still is just a tiny version of, you know, uh, like the one of this guy. Yeah, yeah. this guy is, is a true glide bait and this guy will move and push a lot of water. This guy's going to be much tighter, but it's such a light, small guy that you can throw on pretty much any of your heavier, normal bass gear. So you don't need a specialized swim bait set up for this. If you guys have, you know, a heavy cranking stick, you know, a light duty pitching rod, something like that, this can throw on there easily. I usually just rig it up on 20 pound fluorocarbon. That's pretty much my line of choice all the time. It's really simple to use anywhere you go. You can catch them on this thing. Now, Depths also makes a tiny bull doze. And I'm kind of calling all of these one bait because really the tiny bull shooter that I just showed you is really my number one go-to. But the bull doze is a lipped version, okay? So same bait, same size, sharp hooks, get it out of my finger every episode. All right, so you can see, same exact thing, but the bull doze has a lip. So the lip is basically going to keep it as more of a wake bait. So this is gonna be a floater, it's gonna be right at the surface. You can crank it down and get a little subsurface out of it. So if you're trying to tick grass that just has a little bit of depth below the water surface, this can be a great one to kind of get down. And then if it gets too deep, you can pause, it'll bob back up. So this kind of one-two punch combination is deadly in the spring or any time where there are bluegills in the shallows that the bass are feeding on. So definitely give those a look from depths. Second favorite bluegill imitation pattern. We're gonna stay in depths for a minute. This is probably the number one selling bluegill imitation in Japan. It's becoming, I would say, one of our number one selling imitations here in the store. So I don't think it's gonna be long before the US is covered in these things. This is the Depths Bull Flat. Now, the Bull Flat is available in a bunch of sizes. It's available in a three inch and a 3.8 inch size that I've spoken a lot about for drop shot and free rig. It's an amazing free rig bait that just has this beautiful glide motion to it. And it also comes in a 4.8 and 5.8 size. That's a great, like big bluegill profile size for throwing on its own. So let me show this to you very quickly. So the bull flap is basically a flat side on one side and then kind of a rounded side on the other. You can see it has that kind of tall and thin bluegill profile similar to the hard bait we just showed you. And it has a segmented tail back here. Now this guy is designed to give the profile and that real tight motion just like a bluegill would underwater. Remember, when we're talking about bluegills, we're not especially early in the season, right? 
So when they first start moving up, everything's a little bit colder. Things aren't like super snaky motion, right? Everything's kind of real tight, right? So a bait like this, it's gonna have a lot of glide to it and a lot of side to side, right? Or a lot of kind of up and down with just a natural little kick is a very, very effective way to fish them. What's great about the bigger bull flat is you can also fish this down deeper as a more aggressive kind of jig slash pitch bait. So where you might throw the smaller size on a free rig, you can really power fish this guy through the grass, down around the bushes, skip it under docks, put it down in a rock pile, so on and so forth. So you've got a lot of versatility with a combination of the size and the rigging options of these things. You could Texas rig it, you could Carolina rig it, you can throw it basically just like this, which I would just call it like a weightless version, even though it's a weighted hook, but just by itself, you can free rig it, drop shot. So there's tons of different ways you can fish this guy. It's just one of the most effective soft plastic bluegill imitations really ever. So if you guys are, are you know, looking for a soft plastic bait, yeah, it doesn't have eyeballs. It doesn't have all the, you know, perfectly holographic scales and all that kind of stuff, but it has the action and the profile that matches what the bluegill are putting out under the water that triggers strikes. So definitely give this guy a look, you know, pick the size based on how you want to put it out there. I think you guys are going to catch a lot on this thing. Up next for me in true bluegill profile is a bait that I throw quite a bit. And this is a guy that I use when I want to cover water very quickly. And this is the Mega Bass Vitalian. Now the Vitalian is a single jointed bait from Mega Bass. Here, let me spick it out for you guys really quick. This guy is 115 millimeters long, weighs just over an ounce, ounce and three eighths. This guy is a very versatile bait. It's actually designed to be a lipless bait. So you can literally just think of this as like an LV500 or a route trap or whatever you guys are usually using as a lipless. You can throw this out there and just give it a straight retrieve and it is going to have that just beautiful kick and loud sound just like a lipless would. Now the advantage to going with this guy is A, it's in that nice bluegill profile, but B, you can get this thing to kind of have this little tight glide as well. So you can be winding it and then all of a sudden just kind of switch your retrieve so you have this tight and then all of a sudden you get these little glides and then back to a retrieve. So it's just got a lot of versatility to it. Now, the freshwater colors in this are going to be floating versions, which is great if you're fishing around grass. So if you're fishing shallow cover, you know, that top kind of, you know, six, eight foot or shallower, this is an amazing one, okay? You can get bogged down in cover and then just give it a pause, it'll float back up and then you're right back after it. The saltwater colors are gonna be sinking versions. So those are gonna be better if you're looking to throw off the end of a point, throw down into, you know, a rock pile and fish them deeper, or just really burn them in and have a super fast retrieve. That's a great way to utilize those saltwater colors. But tons of good colors. Edo Cichlid, GG Gill, you know, even GG Bass, even though we're talking about bluegill, it's a bluegill profile, but these are the colors that they're used to seeing a lot in the shallows. So any of those would be great options on this guy. Now, Mega Bass also makes a little bit smaller version called the Vibration X Vitalian. Okay, and this guy has the same profile as the original Vitalian but it's in a much, much smaller version. And you'll notice it's got a lip to it. So same thing, this is basically gonna be a little crankbait. They come in a slow float or a slow sink. 71 millimeters, three eighths of an ounce. So it's still, you know, plenty capable of throwing on normal bait casting gear. And you can choose the float or the sink version based on how deep you want to go down. So I would choose the floating version if I'm fishing around a lot of grass. If you're fishing around more rock and wood, I would go with the sinking version, you can kind of you know, work it down, rip wrap and different things like that. But just a straight retrieve is just gonna give you that beautiful natural bluegill profile uh, that we're looking to imitate this time of the year. Next thing I always reach for when it is bluegill season is a nice cold Orion beer. Orion is my favorite beer from Japan. It, we import it from the beautiful island of Okinawa and in hopes that Orion is listening to this, we would love to be sponsored by you, so please reach out. And if you guys haven't tried Orion, it is amazing. The most delicious, amazing beer, Orion. 
I'm going to be the next Tommy Lee Jones in Japan. Yeah, I know you are. I can actually see it. Yeah, Vending me too. machines everywhere. I've been seeing it for face. years, Jeff. <laughs> All right. I don't even know what number we're on, but this is a really cool bait that gets overlooked like crazy. And this is one of those few baits that I would say every spring when the bass really get keyed in on bluegills, I sell to a ton of touring pros. So definitely consider adding this to the arsenal. This is a bait from Imakatsu. This is the Java Gill 110. Now, this is a very unique little dude. Obviously, it looks just like a bluegill. It has some multi-segments to it, so this guy is going to have a little snakier swim than, you know, the hard bait or like that bull flat that I showed you. It's a little bit unique in that you rig this kind of sideways. So these guys are actually designed to be rigged with the hook on the side there, right? So it would appear like you would want it to be, you know, like this, right? But it actually swims upright it does have an internal foam pocket, okay? So if you kind of squeeze hard enough here in the back, it will pop out this little styrofoam piece in there, okay? And you can choose to keep the foam or discard the foam based on what you want this bait to do. I usually keep the foam in there. Now, if you want this bait to be like a perfect surface action bait, you can take some Mend It, or some super glue and you can super glue that pocket shut and it will trap the air and the foam in there and it will stay like a wake bait for you. If you leave it like it is here, water will get in that little pocket as well and then it will just help kind of counterbalance it. But what's nice about keeping that foam in there is when it lands on the bottom, it will maintain its upright position. And this is a really versatile bait. So if you fish it like this, it's basically just gonna be a swim bait, okay? This is gonna be a bait that we're just going to kind of cast and we're just going to, you know, slowly retrieve or, you know, or you can burn it. So you can burn it just under the surface or you can move it very slow. It's just going to swim naturally under the water. So it's a great one for covering ground. This would be a good kind of one, two punch along with that tiny bull shooter for just like, you're not sure what's happening. You just know that you're going to cover this hundred yards of shore. You can kind of bounce back and forth between a hard bait and a soft bait. This is a great one to do it. But the other way that I fish this bait all the time is on a drop shot. And this is where a lot of guys destroy them on this and they keep it very, very quiet. So with the drop shot, you can fish this thing in and around bedfish. So even though you don't necessarily see the bedfish, you might not be sight fishing them. If you know that there's kind of bedfish in the area, remember bluegill is a natural enemy of bass beds. So if you're just throwing it and kind of swimming it through, the bass can just kind of watch it go away and they don't have to leave their bed or panic or anything like that. If you put it on a drop shot, now all of a sudden it's kind of swimming down like that and then when it gets down to the bottom, it just kind of rights itself and then lands right there. And you can actually just kind of jig it and give it some little hops and just kind of work it in place and it is absolutely deadly when the fish are fired up moving up uh, in the spring. So. Definitely consider adding this to your arsenal. It takes a 5 aught EWG style hook. So Ryugi, decoy owner, whatever you guys like to throw. There's, you know, several different colorations. You know, I usually just stick with like a green pumpkin-ish type color. You know, green pumpkin is probably the most versatile bluegill pattern there is. You can take some, you know, chartreuse dye and you can mark the tail or, you know, put some, some blue or some chartreuse on the bottom if you want to give it any kind of color pops. But I, I just keep it simple. Usually just like a green pumpkin, some kind of like, you know, watermelon shad or something like that. And you're pretty dialed on this thing. But I think you guys, if you add this to your arsenal, I think you're going to find this is going to become one of your favorite things to throw in the spring. So give that a look. That is the Java Gill from Imakatsu, the Java Gill 110. All right. And finally for me, in bluegill profiles is one of my favorite baits to throw from just pure fun factor. And this is one of the craziest looking baits that we have in our shop. This is the Manifold Castellanon. Now the Castellanon is five inches. It weighs 1.9 ounces, so just under two ounces. And I know what you're thinking. It looks like a crazy science project, right? It is a four segmented bait in each segment is attached in a different way and has a different range of motion, right? 
This guy has the most unbelievably natural swim to imitate a bluegill, really of any true just cast and retrieve bluegill bait that I've ever seen. It has a couple different line ties, so you can choose to keep it right on the surface and use it as a true topwater wake bait. You can attach it to the next one and have it dive down a couple feet. It has a kind of a chin holder here that you can attach a little weight. So if you want to weight it down, pull it down and fish it deeper or along the bottom, you can. So you get a lot of versatility out of this guy. But what really makes this bait amazing is this belly segment here. So you'll notice as it swims through the water, that belly is just has this beautiful kind of sidekick that really just sets this bait apart. So if you guys are looking for a bait that you can fish right on the surface, right? That's really where this guy shines, okay? You can do all those other things, but really for me, when those, when those bluegill are just kind of, you know, plucking little, you know, hatches, little bugs and stuff off the surface, or they're staying really high in the column underneath bushes or kind of suspended over a bass's bed, the Castellanon is so deadly because you can fish it slow, you can fish it fast, you can really match the hatch great in profile, in color, and there's a bunch of other colors too. So, I mean, you can do a shad pattern, you can do all kinds of things, but this gives the illusion of a bluegill high in the column. I think you guys will really enjoy it if you give it a try. It's become one of our favorites here. This is the Manifold Castellanon. All right, and I have to throw one more in there because it's hard to make a bluegill video without talking about one of the most obvious choices, you know, on our shelves. And this is the Jackal Ganterelle. Now this comes in a Ganterelle and a Ganterelle Junior size. This bait has been out for a long time. And it's one of those baits, it's a multi-segmented bait. It's one of those baits that's relatively inexpensive by swim bait standards. And it just catches fish year after year after year. It's one of those special baits that just, it never goes away. So if you guys are just kind of starting your bluegill collection, this is definitely one that you should consider adding to the arsenal. Basically the full size guy is just about two and a half ounces, a little over six inches. The junior size, you lose an inch, but you lose quite a bit of weight. You're kind of just about an ounce and a half. So again, this is a size you could throw on most normal bass gear without needing something specialized. It's just got a beautiful action underwater and they chew it. So definitely has to be on the list. I know I said top five, so there we go. Top six. I'll just drink this delicious Orion and I'll recover from that extra episode. What do you say, Jeff? Yes, Orion saves all. Yes. Beer time? Beer time. All right. All right, guys, that is a wrap for me and Jeffrey. I hope that was useful. If you have any questions on any of the baits that we talked about, drop me a question down below in the comments, and I will definitely get to it. Jeff will leave links to all of these in the description. And, uh, of course, make sure you go out, and if nothing else, get yourself a delicious Orion beer. All right, I'm done with my sponsor plugs. I'm going to actually go crack one and drink. So on behalf of myself and my family and Jeff and Carmen and Hibby and John, and everybody that's here, thank you guys for the business. Thank you for the support. Thank you for watching this video. And until next time, peace out. Cheers.